Yeah, I'm here at Auto One Studio. Been really uh, excited to test out this new camera, the Nikon Z63. Thank you again to Pro News for giving us this opportunity. Early, I'm looking at a more practical take on how this camera functions, just in my usual uh, shooting workflow, and see how uh, it kind of clicks. It feels great in the hand, super light. It's really interesting. I think a lot of the features are kind of coming from the photo-based uh, setting. And so coming from a videographer-based background, it's a little bit overwhelming. Um, but I can already see that using this camera is going to open up a lot of different opportunities for me to learn and grow and get better use out of my shooting. The camera feels great in hand. Uh, more than anything, it's super light. And for the amount of features that are packed in here, that's a lot that this thing is doing behind the scenes to make my life a little bit easier. I definitely think coming from the photography angle, there's a lot of options and uh, features here that will be exciting to try out. But yeah, we'll see how far we get with our subject. The great part about studios, you can control everything. So now we're kind of out and about uh, working with the elements. But again, like tracking and autofocus is looking really great. I'm really excited to try what this 4K 120 RAW looks like. So we'll see how far we get. Uh, one of the really nice thing about this camera and shooting out in this really bright direct sunlight is the brightness within the viewfinder is probably the best I've seen so far. Definitely clutch when you're shooting these kind of super bright, a little bit of harsh lighting conditions. When you're shooting horizontally or in landscape mode at 6K, it's really nice to have the option to be able to crop in for a vertical shot and still keep all that high resolution. So what's interesting about this camera is it gives you some really good uh, kind of raw video selections within the analog of the Nikon. But one thing to keep in mind though, which is fine for a lot of the content that we're shooting, especially with um, kind of social media content where you don't need so much resolution, is once you drop out of the ProRes and you're in this H25, you're only getting four to zero. So you don't get as much of the dynamic range. But I mean, with posts and a lot of kind of editing options you can have with different setups, choosing not that big.